WWT 6 News Cruiser there as Omaha police guns drawn take a murder suspect into custody. Good evening, I'm John Nicely. Mallory's on assignment. Happening locally live at 5, this update to local breaking news. We first reported at daybreak. A man named Ernesto Lugo is behind bars tonight. He's 53 and he's booked into jail on a charge of second degree murder. The victim identified in just the last 15 minutes as Rachel Ham. She was 32. Colin Rain continues our coverage live near 16th and Yates with how neighbors are reacting to all of this tonight. Colin. Uh, John, sadly, this area is no stranger to violence. Two homicides near this intersection, 16th and Yates, in just the past year alone. And before that, another one happening just a couple blocks north of here in early 2016. People in the community tell me they are ready to see some changes. Police take a man into custody after Omaha's latest homicide. Now 53-year-old Ernesto Lugo is booked for second-degree murder. Police say he's involved in the shooting death of a woman Wednesday night. Oh boy, here we go again. So I'm like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Stephen Bolden lives nearby. He knows it's not the first time police have come here for a homicide investigation. He does hope it's the last. People got enough stress and frustration to have to deal with alone other than to have to see un unple unpleasant trees that go on down here. It's real tough being down here, especially a single parent with two kids. You don't want your kids seeing that. Misha Brown lives here too. She says it's tough to see the trouble here, though she's looking at positive changes in the neighborhood. I didn't think that it was going to be too much of anything, but he has really turned it around. Brown is talking about this recently reopened convenience store just blocks north of the homicide scene. The owner has cleaned the store back up. He opened the doors just last Saturday and even hopes to bring back gas pumps. It would be nice to see some some very some much needed developments over here where where we all live at. Bolden hopes those positive changes can happen up and down the block. He says it's not a bad place to live for the most part, though there's always room for improvement. He says it's going to take a team effort to make that happen. I mean, everybody's trying to figure out a way to uplift this area as it is in the first place. I did speak to another nearby business to react to everything that happened. They say it's unfortunate to see it happen here, but not necessarily surprising to see something like this. Police again have identified in the last 15 minutes or so that victim is 32 year old Rachel Ham. Mourners and organizers are going to be holding a prayer walk for her tonight here at 16th and Yates. That's coming up at 530. John. All right. Thank you. Colin Rain reporting.